Hello and welcome to another episode on the Power On channel. Today I'm taking a look at my uh, electric bike here. Now this electric bike uh, was put together around about 15-18 months ago and it's built from a mountain bike, a pretty much standard mountain bike that I bought off the shelf and then I got uh, an electric mid-drive motor and built myself the battery. Now I'm holding the camera um, fairly steady but it's in my hands today it's not on the tripod so uh, apologies for uh, jiggy movements and all the rest of it but uh, if we just take a quick look um, the um, drive is a mid drive it's a ba fang or eight fun uh, mid drive motor which drives through the chain wall so obviously you get the advantage of um, going through the uh, rear sockets and all the gearing that that provides but you only have a, a single sprocket at the front and as I said, uh, the battery uh, was built by myself, and that's just a whole heap of 18650 cells. They're the um, LG MJ1 cells, which are three and a half amp hours each, or there are thereabouts. Um, now, uh, today's video is really just about the, the charging of this, so I do have a, a plug in charger which I use, but uh, I've just recently connected up. A solar panel and a charger to that just to see how it works and I thought you might be interested in this so connection to the charger I've just got a simple cable here uh, I think these are uh, little Anderson plugs so we just plug this directly into here which is virtually impossible to do in one hand so that's uh, plugged in now and I've got this um, meter here which is permanently connected it's showing 55.1 volts the terminal voltage for this battery is 58.8 um, so it's reasonably full 73% um, full at the moment 55.1 as I say it just scrolls and then switches it off normally I'll leave it switched off but as we're going to charge this I'll switch that on and then if we just quickly go over to the charger on the wall so here we are on the other side of the garage and uh, we've got the charger here which is this green MPT7210A and just off to the right here I've got the isolator which goes up to the 200 watt solar panel. I just knock this uh, isolator on and the unit comes on. Now this is supposed to be a maximum power point tracking solar charge controller hence the MPPT. And indeed it, it does seem to do some uh, MPPT, uh, I might zoom in in a minute, but it started off uh, the panel open circuit voltage is around about sort of 20 volt mark and that's now bringing that down as it brings the wattage or the power available uh, up. Um, just a little bit on uh, solar panels, obviously I just said that the panel is rated for 200 watts, but hey, when, when do you ever get 200 watts out of a 200 uh, watt panel? Um, very rarely. They are all tested at uh, standard temperature conditions of 25 degrees centigrade and they imagine you to be on the equator and it's midday so you know obviously perfectly ideal conditions. In reality even in Sydney here with my panels pointed at 30 degrees um, in the middle of summer, it's not the middle of summer at the moment but it's the end of summer and it is an overcast day. But uh, yeah, you rarely get more than 140 or 150 watts out of a panel uh, that's rated at 200 watts. But yeah, that's just a, a little bit of an aside there. Uh, just to zoom in a little bit more on the actual... Okay, getting a little bit of flickering on the, uh, on the camera screen, but it doesn't flicker in actuality. Um, you can see now up to um, three, uh, 32 watts, sorry, and that voltage has now come down to 16, low 16s, high 15s, which sounds about right for the maximum power point for this particular panel. And we're in constant current mode, so we're pumping out a whole 0.6 of an amp to the battery, and the battery voltage currently is 55.63. Uh, now that's the battery voltage measured at this end of the cable. The cable is rather long. It is a 240 volt rated cable 
uh, at 10 amps so yeah look it's, it's well within its capabilities but the cable's a bit long I, I really should just sort of shorten this and have this bike a lot closer but it doesn't really matter too much I'm only losing around about half a volt uh, across the whole length at this uh, low ampage so I'm not too worried in terms of setting I've set the uh, terminal voltage to 58.5 volts as I said the terminal voltage for that battery is 58.8 which would be 100% uh, full. I normally don't fill this battery to 100% anyway, normally leave it at uh, 80 or a maximum of 90 unless I'm sort of going out on a long ride and I know that I need the capacity. Um, obviously best not to leave lithium ion batteries fully charged. Um, and so yeah that's set to certainly below the, the 100% mark and uh, with the half a volt drop that will probably only get to 58 volts on the actual battery itself. Um, Set OK, and yeah, the uh, ampage is set to maximum 5 volts, so it should never get to that. Uh, this controller should also go from constant current into a constant voltage mode once it uh, gets close to that uh, voltage there. So, again, sort of making sure that the uh, ampage turns off and the, uh, the current rather uh, the ampage, yes, the current tapers down, and then the uh, uh, wattage will obviously taper down in line with that. So yeah, that's how I charge my bike using solar electricity, free from the sun. See you now. Bye.